How's it going, little dudes? Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. We are on our boat with Chad. Our monkey is, I believe, on our shoulder. Yes. Hello, monkey. And we are on our raft. I think I said that. And it is nighttime. So that's not ideal per se. But, oh, you know what? There is a thing up there. We could try to go get that. But first... First, 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 first. I'm going to pause here because we got some name suggestions. Let's see. So we needed two things to be named. Uh, Mr. Monkey and the raft. Let's see. Our most liked um, our most liked monkey suggestion was from Rage Rex YouTube. How's it going, my man? Uh, he said, name the monkey George with four likes at the time of filming. So he's going to be George. And then let's see. I think we got one for the raft. Um, yes. Average pizza enjoyer. How's it going, Logan? Good to see you. Uh, USS Boats and Hose. Ah, fantastic. Great. Thank you for that. We also, just to call the rest of them out, uh, Rose Nera 2K suggested Mimsy for the monkey. That's a great one. Loved it. And then Tudo uh, suggested King Louie. Also a great suggestion, but yes, George was the one with the most likes, so that's what we're going with. Options, change name. Hello, G George. There we go. George. I assume that is named after the Curious One, which I am more than happy about. That is uh, a classic part of my childhood. And then the raft is the USS... Boats in hose. Is that how you wanted me to spell it? Hold on. USS boats in hose. Okay, hold on. There's just there's one of these boats in hose. Awesome. Okay, so what are we doing this episode? Great question. We are going to put this away, and then we're gonna sneak under here and put this in here. We are, oh, we're out of berries, okay. Well, we'll probably get some more berries. But in the meantime, it is nighttime, so that does kind of limit the amount of things we're able to do. But I think what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get on Chad, and we're going to take a little, a little run around. Um, just try to go up to that. We'll try to get that beacon first, because that is also kind of where I wanted to go, just to see, oh my, it was a little loud. Just to see, the uh if that cliff is going to be a good place for a first little house i think it will be i think that's a good idea so we need to get up there i don't i guess let's try to get to the rock wall there we go so eventually if we follow this we should find a place where we can oh okay hold on buddy you know what get out of my way uh where we can get up i don't remember where we actually got up the first time was it on this side of the waterfall i guess it was let me up. Oh, oh. Okay, we can't quite Skyrim wall climb in Ark. They're a little bit more, uh, a little bit more sticklers about that. Uh, damn, this is a long ass rock wall. Hopefully, we don't come across anything too dangerous. It's definitely possible. I do think uh, Chad should be able to outrun basically anything that we find, as long as I can get away fast enough for them to not like one shot us. Which I suppose is possible, but you know, Chad's only like level, he's not even level 30 yet. So it's not like he's the most valuable thing ever. So I wouldn't be too distraught if we lost him, but I certainly don't want to. Um, Alright, for plans for this episode. Um, well, oh, there's a raptor. Hey, bud. I don't know what level this guy is. He doesn't seem very interested in us. Is he... What is his problem? Is he like a juvenile or something? Like an adolescent? Seemed pretty big, but alright. Uh, plan, yeah, plans for this episode. I think we're going to try to build the house this episode, which means I am going to be editing it probably a decent amount. Oh, do you not have any meat on you, buddy? Oh, you don't. Okay, we'll get you some meat sometime soon. Uh, but for now, let's try to get over to that uh, beacon. Okay. We're going to try to jump across this. It is terrifying going around at night. You never really know what, what's going to be out there. Okay, I don't know what that was. 
maybe a raptor if it's just a raptor we don't really have to worry about that as long as they don't like pounce us and get us off of chad oh diplodocus okay he's a big nice boy i do think out on this cliff will be safe enough for a house i'm pretty sure but i mean we will have to see okay hopefully we're good what do we get Ooh. okay okay not bad really not bad Let's see. Um, we don't need this axe because we can just repair ours. Uh, we don't really need this slingshot because we could make this one. We have a really good slingshot we could make. That's pretty sick. I'll keep the torch just because and a flare gun. Not really useful, but I guess you never know. Maybe it'll come in handy. But all right. This, you know, this cliff, I am liking the look of it. It's not super easy to get up here from the water. But it is really easy to get down, so that's good. We have this big old tree, which is here. Uh, I like him. I'll probably try to not cut him down. So we can have that little natural landmark. And then we have plenty of stone. I can't make actual stone shit yet, right? Or am I... Oh, okay. Interesting. We can actually make stone. This is getting us all the wood stuff as well. Um, hmm. Okay. Very interesting. Well, I'll tell you what. I think uh, I kind of have to take a massive dump right now. So I'm going to go do that. And then we will come back at maybe in the morning. Maybe I'll just try to like do a bit of casual resource gathering at night. And then we'll maybe start building in the morning. Something like that. But I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, so we have a little bit of a problem. This area is not quite as safe as I was hoping. There is... You can see that Stego over there. Oh, hey, buddy. He is fighting an Allosaurus. Um, oh, did he win? Oh, shit, he won, didn't he? Damn. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's a Carno. Oh, okay. Well, that's, not as, that's definitely not as bad as an Allo, but... Still, that is a little bit spooky. Um, I'm going to go just get a little bit of this and then a little bit of flint so I can repair my axe. And we are going to harvest this boy. So, okay, a Carno isn't terrible, but I do think that if we are going to want to stay here, it might be... Oh, where did he go? Here he is. It might be a good idea to build at least a base layer out of stone. I don't know what a Carno can actually destroy. I know a Rex can destroy wood. I mean, obviously. I reckon a Carno probably could. I guess I don't know, actually. But I do think maybe a base layer of stone is going to be a good idea. Um, I do have... You know, pretty high resource harvesting on, so it's not going to take us too long. And there's a lot of stone over there. So I think um, I'm going to try. We got a lot of meat out of that. I'm going to get just a little bit more wood. And then, ooh, I can't, I can't hold all that much. We probably are going to need to upgrade our weight pretty soon. But I'm going to build, for now, a storage box. And... Am I still overweighted? Okay. Then we're going to toss out the meat. Uh, I guess we're probably just going to need to toss out the wood. That was why I was hoping to not. But here, let's just upgrade our weight. Maybe that'll do it. Yeah, there we go. We're not overweighted anymore. Uh, we're still a little slow, but that's fine. So, uh, I left Chad over on the cliff. We're going to take out this guy real quick. Nice. Nice and quick. Get some more hide out of him. And then, yeah, I do think... A uh, base layer of stone is probably going to be a good idea. Like, a solid foundation, two walls. Like, make that kind of like the first room. Kind of like the bunker room. Just in case. Um, okay, there's Chad. So, I think... I do kind of wish we could get an aerial view of this. But I do think that... Oh, maybe do we want to put it right on this cliff edge? Yeah, I think this probably will be the cliff edge that we build on. Great view, for sure. Um, 
can also look out that way. So I guess maybe, hmm, maybe we'll line it up with this kind of flat edge here. Yeah, I think that will be a good idea. Um, if we can make it tall enough, it will eventually get into the tree, which could be kind of annoying, but that probably won't be for a while anyway. So, for now, I want you. I'm going to plop you down. I'm also going to real quickly go over here. We did get some prime off of that Carno. Uh, we only have eight minutes to use it, though, so I don't think that's going to pan out, unless we went and grabbed, like, a Raptor. Uh, could I repair you? I could. Well... I suppose we could give it a shot, but it's probably not really worth it anyway. Ah, it's fine. For now, it's fine. It, just having that prime is not that big a deal. All right, we're going to put all of our resources in here. Basically, we're just going to put everything in here. Okay, now we just have a little spot up here to store stuff. The boat is down there. Cool beans. Um, let me make sure I have all of these stone things that we're going to need here. Um, fence foundation, pillar, fence support. Pretty much going to want to get all this stuff that we can. We have a lot of engram points available already. We, we are leveling up quite quickly. Um, let's see. Let's do this, do this, do this, this. Grab all this stuff. Might as well. Um, probably don't need, yeah, we don't need any of this. Well, stone double door frame is good. Okay. So with this, I think... Let's see. This just needs stone, thatch, and wood. Okay. No, it doesn't, doesn't even need fiber. Interesting. Well, we don't really have anything good for carrying materials, like a good pack animal. So maybe our first point of business should actually be that. I think that kind of sounds like a good idea. Like, if we could tame a stego... Oh, I don't know how hard Stegos really are to tame, to be honest. But I do think that would be pretty epic. All right, we'll make that the goal of this episode. And then I think... Oh, hey, buddy. Next episode, we will try to then... Um, nice bit of, bit of hide in there. Next episode, we'll be building the actual house after we have completed... After we have something that's going to help it make... Just go a lot quicker. You know, getting a big pack animal... That Diplo is almost tempting, but we need a ton of arrows to get him. Ooh, speaking of Trank arrows, should we get a, a Parasaur first to help us? We could also try to get one of the, uh, the mess, the Machop, Machops, the Machops. Um, hmm. It's a good question. It's a good question. Ooh, can we make that jump to the water? I don't know. All right. Well, we're going to give it a shot. Uh, if we die, we'll just respawn at the boat. So, not that big a deal. We just gotta make sure that he doesn't die. Yeah, we're not gonna make that. Okay, yep, get off there. And we're fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's run back over there. And then... Let's try to see if we can get a Machops. And then, if not... We might want to grab a Parasaur to get, uh, to get some berry farming done. That could be the right idea. Oh, hold on. First of all, let's take care of this little boy. Make sure he doesn't disturb us. Come on, buddy. Level 36? Damn. Our Chad does not have very high damage for how much of a Chad that he is. So you, giant bee honey. Okay, definitely not going to get that anytime soon. Where was the other one? Let's take a little peek at him. Oh, you're just another one of these. Oh, there is also a Stego right there. Let's not attack him. Come on. There we go. And then, is this a juvenile? Huh, maybe it is. Either way. Now, where's that other Machops? Where is he? Oh, we're tired. All right, that's fine. Rest up, buddy. There was two over here. I think the other one was, like, gray... I'm not seeing him. It is possible that he died, but since they are runners, they do tend to survive longer than a lot of things. Is he over here? A lot of Dillos around here, that's for sure. Not that big a deal, obviously. Um, hello? Hello, Mr. Machops? 
There's the one down there. I mean, we could wait until... Is it every day that they change what food they need? Oh, there's, there he is. Hey, buddy. What are you doing down here, pal? Are you stuck? Raw prime fish meat. Yeah, we're not really going to be able to get that right now either. I think you have to kill some pretty crazy shit in order to get that. Um, well, we could try to search for one, and then we could also try to just find a parasaur, which would be pretty easy to tame. Um, it just got bullet a couple times. Oh, there is another Machops down there. I guess it's worth at least checking out. I do also see a Parasaur, but I think this area would not be ideal to tame in. Oh, is that a Raptor? Okay. We could try to get another Raptor, I guess. That is true. Um, oh, can I bowl him from atop our Raptor? Oh, I can. Dude, awesome. Well, ugh, unfortunately... Oh, he's only level 8. Okay, nice. I was going to say, unfortunately, our club's going to break, but even if it does, we can probably punch him out. going to do a little damage to us, but hopefully this will work. There we go. Okay, so is this a female? Just out of Oh, it is! Hey, we got someone for Chad. We got to name her something like Chad's, Chad's date, like Jessica or something like that. I mean, it'll be up to you guys, but still. All right. Um, that Prime is... Oh, yeah! We can use the Prime. Hell yeah. Not that it'll matter. I'm sure it'll tame with one prime meat, but still, that's kind of cool. Another rafter. We can add one to our pack. Um, all right, tell you what. I'm going to leave you guys here. Uh, you can go ahead and tame. Chad, keep a good, close look on your sleeping mate. Uh, let's see. Okay, turtle's not going to be good for harvesting. So goddamned slow. What do I need to repair this, by the way? Fiber wood? Okay, we'll, we'll think about it. Um, got some dodos. What is this? Oh, a moss chops egg. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What are these? They have little party hats on? Must be a special event going on. Oh, he's running from something. Can I tame you? Oh, doesn't look like he wants to be tamed while he's terrified for his life. Hey, buddy. I didn't, I didn't hit you, bro. It was something else. I don't know what. We did see some scary shit over here, so I'm not super inclined to hang around. Hopefully he stops freaking out here soon. Um, there was also that Parasaur. Who was around here somewhere. Hello. Where have thou gone? We're actually probably pretty close to being able to tame a uh, Pteranodon. Oh, there's a Sarko down in that lake. Okay, getting a Sarko wouldn't be too bad. Good old amphibious creature. Don't think we want to go out there. That's where we saw all the dangerous stuff. And I don't know if we can outrun, like, a saber tooth on foot yet. We might be able to, to be honest, but I don't know. All right, is that Moss Shop's done freaking out yet? Oh, I leveled up. Didn't even notice. Get some more weight going. Hello? Moss Chop? Where art thou? Oh, maybe he ran off somewhere. Okay, that's a shame. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's still running away. God damn, buddy, you gotta calm down. I wanna fucking tame you. Probably not even gonna be able to with what he needs to be tamed. But you never know. Sometimes they need meho berries. You never know. Yeah, he's gonna be freaking out for a while. Okay. Let's do a little bit more exploration. There was a parasaur around here somewhere. Ooh, you know what? Let me check on the recording quick. Yeah, okay, looks fine. Um, I don't know where the parasaur... Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. What level are you, my friend? 28. That's not a bad starting level. It'd be pretty easy to tame. So we could give that a shot. I guess uh, it'd be pretty... Ooh, there's that Sarko right there. That's a little scary. But, okay, you know what? I think let's, uh, yeah, let's grab a little bit of fiber. Grab a little bit of wood. And repair this boy. And then we're going to go ahead and bola this mofuck. He does seem to kind of be stuck, to be honest. If he's completely stuck, that's awesome. But I imagine he's probably not. I mean, maybe he is, I guess. We're going to give it a shot, at least. Just start trying to knock him out. If he gets out of this, then... Yeah, okay. We're going to need to bola. Come here, buddy. Don't let me miss this. Don't run towards the Sarko, you damn idiot. Okay, there we go. Should be able to knock this boy out. Or girl. Girl? Pretty sure... Yeah, girl. All right, old girl. Lay down. You're not very high level, so we should be able to do this without you breaking out of the bola. Hopefully. Come on. Come on. 
Go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. Yeah! Okay, fantastic. Let me get these in there. This will be great for harvesting berries. Uh, more berries than we can harvest ourselves. Uh, I can see... Okay, that Sarko is keeping a pretty good distance. We could probably lead him away if we need to, because we're definitely faster than that guy is on land. Uh, he'd rip us to shreds in the water, but... We, we're on our terrain. We're on our turf, all right? We can choose where we want to fight. Um, okay, that'll be enough. Cool beans. Let me just... Here, tell you what. George, my little backpack, my buddy, my pal. I'm going to throw these in there. Um, get a little more health level up on him. I'll throw my egg in there, too. He'll keep it nice and warm for us. Come here, George, my boy. All right, so we can wait for this guy to wake up. Uh, a pair of saddles actually... Pretty damn easy. 80 hide. Okay, well, we're not... We don't... We probably can't get that just on our own. I mean, there are some dodos over here. I guess we could give it a shot. Do a little bit of hunting. I'm sure the raptors are also done. Um, but I'm going to leave them over there for now. Let's just kill some dodos. Cool. How much hide do we get from one of these? Cake slice? I'm sorry. What? A delicious piece of birthday cake. We're from, from a thieving dodo. Sweet revenge. What can I do with that? I don't want cake. I want hide, you bastards. All right, well, there's a couple normal dodos around, at least. All right, give me hide, not cake. There we go. 31? Nice. We probably actually can get 80, then. ba ba -booey. There we go. Ba, ba ba Okay, we need... Wait, was that enough, actually? No, we need a little bit more. All right, one more non-birthday dodo. And... Shablamo! Cool beans, cool beans. Get you... And then for our Parasaur Saddle, we just need three more wood. Fantastic. Say less. Dog. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Uh, you build that. Let's get back over to our big mama, who is around here somewhere. There she is. And she's tamed. All right. Fantastic. Let's get you away from that Sarko, who is slowly getting closer. Uh, boop. Boop. And boop. Fantastic. Alright, so now she's not super fast. She isn't like super high level. But she will level up pretty quick. And we're just going to level up her weight and speed. So that we can get a great little harvesting gal going for us. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pretty much rip through the forest as we go back to our raptors. We're going to kind of regroup at the boat, I think. Before, because we're going to need this girl. Oh, well, actually, she's just for berry harvesting. So we actually don't need to take her up to the new, uh, to the house location. Because we don't need her for building. We just need her for, for getting the narcs to get the thing that's going to help us for building. I mean, she would help us too, for sure. How much weight does she actually have? 528. Not bad. Not bad at all. We'll get a little stamina. Let's put that over 1,000. And then everything else for her is just going to go into... Uh, weight and speed Mostly weight probably but we can drop a lot of shit out of her too when she gets overweighted All right, we'll stick with that for now. Let's find the Raptors. There they are Our lovely mate for Sir Chad Who is just as low as level as he is in fact even lower. I don't remember what level we tamed Chad at but Might have been even lower than uh, than Jessica here um, all right. Well, yeah, let's get these guys to follow us back home. We're just going to go back to the boat for now. Like I, like I said, I believe. Do a little jaunt across the water here. And then, yeah, with her, we'll be able to get... Oh, you know what? Take, take them down. Take them down, boys. Boy and girl. Okay, you guys are pathetic. Go over here. There you go. Now take them down. There you go. And now they should be getting their, uh, their mate, uh, bonus. Yeah, yeah, that's what the heart is, right? Or does that just mean able to mate? Or no, they should be getting the pack bonus. Maybe that's more than two. Maybe you need more than two raptors to get that. I don't know. Either way, we have two raptors now. Um, I guess we could actually get them to mate, and then we would have more than two raptors. It's gonna be a real low-level baby, but... I mean, I guess, who cares? If we just have a pack of raptors, they'll probably be able to rip apart a lot of things. Okay, come on, uh, whatever your name is. I almost called her Jessica again. Uh, if you like that name, then we could go with it. But, again, it's up to you guys, as always. Um, here, let's go ahead and actually drop just a few 
pounds of berry. Um, just to make this journey back a little quicker. There we go. Just the stuff that we didn't need. We'll keep the narcos are the most important thing, but otherwise doesn't matter that much. Let me check up on you just to see. Cooked prime meat. Wait, 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 wait. Do you still have prime meat in you? Oh, it's spoiled. Fair enough. All right. Um, let's get her going on a little health and then some melee damage. Maybe I'll make her the damaging raptor and Chad can just stay like the uh, the the riding raptor, you know, our, our vehicle of sorts. All right. Well, this little beach area is nice and calm, nice and safe. Don't have to worry about much here. Although, let's actually get the raptors to rip apart that little thing. Nice. Oh, they do, it does look like they're doing more damage. Or Chad's at least doing more damage than he usually does. So maybe they are getting like a mate or a pack bonus. Or maybe that is the mate bonus. I guess I don't know. Because mate bonus is also a thing, right? I believe it is. All right. Good job. Good job. Let's hop off. Old the old Parasaur. So yeah, we need already, we need a name for the new raptor. Chad's mate. She is, she's pretty. She's got that bright underbelly. She's got like a, ooh, it's like a dark green. Nice. She's very pretty. And then we also have the Parasaur, big female Parasaur, kind of that grayish brown color. Not super pretty. Kind of looks like, uh, like literal shit. Let's get out a couple of these. Let's actually go also over. I'm just going to throw this meat in there. And then let's grab as many narcs as I can hold. That'll do it. Okay. Hey. They're just going to keep following her, so they'll just stay there for now. And fantastic. Let's swim out to the boat and get all this stuff processing. There is some fish in the water. I might do a little spot of spear fishing. Ho! Nice. Nailed it. All right, I'll grab that meat in a second. I assume you're all done. Yeah. Let's put all of this in here. Consumable drug. Craft all. Fantastismo, 30. Okay, so that's going to be a total of 47 narc arrows, which is not bad. That is probably enough to get us a... Uh, that's probably enough to get us a stego. We could also go for a trike if that is more enticing. I do feel like I usually go for trikes, so I was kind of thinking about a stego. I know trikes are easier to tame, so I guess I don't know. All right, George, take the load off. I don't want you quite that close to the edge. Okay, hold on. Yep, don't be doing that, my man. Let's not jump in the water. You are a fragile little monkey boy. There you go. Perfect. Right next to the bed. Okay, um, I'm going to throw this in here. Oh, I cannot. Right. All right, I'll throw that. Oh, I still cannot. Fair enough. I'll take out all of this then, I guess. Um, George, I'm going to have you keep... Come here. Come here. Stop. There you go. I'm going to have you keep my fish meat and the rest of my meat meat. And then, okay, let's go over here. Let's deposit this stuff in there. Uh, the cake, I guess I'll put in this box. Okay. So, as we're waiting for these to all crap. Oh, they're almost done. Okay, great. Well, then, in that case, let's get some more arrows. How much stuff? Okay, we're going to need more flint, and we're going to need more thatch. That's it for arrows, right? Flint, thatch, and wood. Oh, no, it's fiber flint and thatch. Oh. Then all we need is flint and thatch. Okay, still, yeah, same deal. All right. We have plenty of thatch, actually, on the old parasaur. Oh, there's a fioma up there, a little poo pog. Never mind having a poo pog on board. Um, okay, you're looking great. Let's just grab some flint then. Should be easy enough. Okay, yes, and then with this, we can get as many Trank Arrows as we need, and we'll have to decide on whether we want a Trike or a Stego. Hmm, this is tough. This is tough. Cooked Prime Meat, sorry, bud, don't have any. We could tame this Stego up right here. What level are you, 32? That wouldn't be bad. I think we'll probably go for a Stego. I'm tempted to do a vote. But I think, how long has this episode been? Has it been long enough? Uh, it probably has, actually. 
Hmm. This is tough. I could put it up to a vote to see what you guys want to tame next. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna... I think this episode has been long enough, and we did already tame two things this episode, so that's pretty solid. Uh, we need a name for the raptor and the parasaur. So I think I'm gonna make our trank arrows. Oh, wait, I needed the thatch. I'm gonna make our arrows, and then... I'm going to just leave it up to you guys as to what you want to see us tame. Um, now, I think a decent amount of you may lean in the direction of a trike, because in Classic Arc, they were probably more useful out of the pair. But do remember, I mean, trikes are great. I wouldn't mind taming a trike at all. They also have good berry gathering, so I certainly wouldn't mind. And they have that charge ability, which is great. But Stegos, in the newer version, they did also get an update um and they're pretty they're pretty sick they have a lot of defensive abilities they can carry way more weight than a trike can so that will be better for building but it is going to be up to you guys i am going to leave it up to a vote you guys go ahead and comment um the name for the parasaur who is female name for the raptor also female not that that really matters too much um and then tell us whether you want to tame a stego or a trike and yet again the most liked comment will be the one that i go with not only for the names but also for whether you want a stego or a trike um maybe comment them separately just so that i don't have to pick one comment that's the most liked for both i don't know something like that the few people who are watching the arc series have been commenting a lot i love you guys thank you for supporting this part of the series i love arc I love playing it. It's been fun to do a video on it. So thanks for watching. Ah, uh, big sippy. All right, let's take our narcotics out, and we're gonna crap. Oh, I haven't even gotten the trank arrows, have I? Trank arrow. What level are we actually? Just forty. Damn, we're forty already. I do have XP turned quite high i just i think that's the most fun way to play arc single player to be honest i think it's good for the series too to just kind of have it moving quick um but we are moving pretty pretty damn fast and we can get all the way down to 40 we definitely could tame a pteranodon so we might also do that next episode but i think next episode we're going to um tame the either stego or trike Unless you guys have something else you really want to see us tame as our, like, build helper. I don't know what else that would be. I mean, we could go on a journey for, like, uh, like one of the big, tall mammal boys. Their name is escaping me right now. There's not honestly that much else in that genre that we could really tame around here. I mean, we could try to tame the Diplo, I guess. Those That thing would have way more weight and more speed, I think. But they're not useful for anything else, so... I guess, you know what? I'll throw the Diplo in the vote, too. If anyone wants to see the Diplo, we will also get him. The guy that's up there, up there on that cliff. The big sauropod. But, yeah. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode of Ark. To those of you who are watching this series, thank you so much for watching. I'm having a lot of fun still. Uh, thank you for your name suggestions in the last one. Drop your new ones in the comments of this one. And make your vote. Make your vote! For the next episode we're gonna keep this series going even though, even though it's really low views i'm gonna keep it going i'm having too much fun um at least for now so all right yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out jankheads